What is going on, Jets Nation? It is Richie, and today we are going into the film room to break down what the heck happened on offense for these New York Jets on Monday Night Football against the L.A. Chargers. Now, this will not be pretty. It will be pretty on one side of the ball, and that will be defense. But I am really curious to see what the film looks like because, in my opinion, the stats lie, but the film does not lie. So I'm excited to see exactly what went wrong for the offense, the offensive line woes, the Zach Wilson, of course, the off, I mean, the drops, the penalties, a lot, a lot. There's going to be a lot. I can't even imagine. And again, you guys know this by now. Um, this is a segment I do on the channel once a week, going over each game for the Jets. And I like to go into the film room and give you guys my initial reaction to the film. I don't really study the film and then give you guys my breakdown. I like to give you my first raw reaction to it so we can all break it down together and add context to what exactly happened on Monday night. Um, so let's get things started. Luckily, we get to see the defense on the field first, giving the Jets a three and out. But folks, before we get deeper into it, please, if you did not already, hit that thumbs up button on your way into the show, guys. If you're enjoying these all 22 film breakdowns, I really do enjoy doing them. And it would mean a lot to me, guys, if you can support the channel by simply smashing that thumbs up button right now for your boy. That would mean a lot to me as you guys are coming in, whether you're watching it live or you're watching a replay. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way into the show, folks. All right, let's get straight into business. First is Quinn Williams. A run stuff on Austin Eckler. The New York Jets defense did everything they had to do to win this game. The New York Jets defense is here. Quinnen Williams is a monster. And here's the first play of the day. Quinnen Williams just sheds off the left guard immediately. The man's on his left knee. He's doing like a freaking, I don't even know, putting him on the ground. And Quinnen Williams stuffs up Austin Eckler on the first play of the day to really set a standard and set a tone of what this game's going to be like on defense. Now it's second down and long. Justin Herbert drops back to pass, fires it deep, and Sauce freaking Gardner had what a night for Sauce. And it's so upsetting, folks, that we can't even celebrate the excellence of the Jets defense because of how bad the offense was. But in this film breakdown, we're going to celebrate the defense a little bit because we deserve to. They deserve some praise, okay? They deserve it. And we're going to be... <laughs> Tearing apart the offense, don't you worry. But watch Sauce Gardner here one-on-one -on -one with the rookie. Literally stride for stride, not giving him any room. He's trying to do a little flag route to the outside, and Sauce is basically running the route for him. I mean, you can't get better coverage than that. This is one of those games where it just reminded the world, like, yeah, Sauce Gardner's uh, still one of the great best corners in the NFL, if you guys forgot. I mean, look at that coverage. You can't. I mean, if you want me to be nitpicky, I would like to see Sauce kind of flip his hips around and just pick that ball off. I mean, I might be asking for a little too much from Sauce. I might be. He's attached to the hip. He's doing everything he possibly can. But, like, is it possible for him to just flip his hips around, jump up, instead of going up with one hand and batting it down, coming down with it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, again, I might be asking for too much. Uh, but Sauce Gardner is freaking him, everybody. He is the best cornerback in the game, and he keeps reminding everybody of it, and the haters can't admit it, baby. I mean, you can't get better coverage than that. You literally can't get better coverage than that. By the way, he is number one in the NFL in separation allowed, so the haters can keep hating and calling him whatever they want to call him. They're just pure hating. They can't admit greatness when they see it. Getting into the third down play. Again, the Jets get a three and out. I mean, look at that timing with Jermaine Johnson off the edge. Jeff Ulbrich dials up an all-out blitz, which is cool. I never really seen Jermaine get a running start. I mean, look at Jermaine kind of hiding. <laughs> He's hiding one-on-one, -on -one, and then last minute comes to the line of scrimmage. The Jets send an all-out nickel blitz, and it is absolutely ferocious. Forces Justin Herbert to throw the ball away. We barely see uh, Jeff Ulbrich dial up blitzes. But when he does, he does it timely, man. And look at that blitz, man. Jermaine, Michael Carter the second, man coverage, cover one look, three and out. Defense does their job. All right, here comes the offense. The Jets get another three and out of their own, and then we're going to punt the ball to the Chargers, and they're going to return it for six. Great. 
All right, first down. First play of the offense is a handoff to Brees. He picks up four yards, and then I'm pretty sure the next throw is going to be a bad throw from Zach. Uh, so let's break it down. First and 10, Brees Hall gets the handoff. I mean, Makai Becton does a great job uh, double teaming, but you kind of want to see him maybe climb into the second level. I mean, I think the biggest issue with the run game that we're going to notice is the is the tight ends blocking. I don't think the tight ends had a good game at all blocking in the run game at all. You got two tight ends right here, CJ Uzama and Jeremy Ruckert. I mean, Ruck, Ruckert and CJ are both double teaming Khalil Mack. We need one of them to take on Mack and someone else to climb into the second level. But hey, can't complain. Three or four yards on first down, not too bad. Now, this is a good route concept. I like this. This is going to be a little flat route for CJ and a little clear out for Al Lazard. And this should have been a first down, but uh, Zach Wilson basically missed this throw. Good pocket. Get the ball out. CJ Uzama's open. Zach makes the good read, but Zach does not make the good throw. If that's a good throw that hits CJ in the numbers and that's a first down, move the chains. If anything, he's tackled, then it's just maybe third and one. But it's a throw way out of bounds. So, first throw from Zach of the day, not good. So, I like this play concept. I like the pocket. Zach gets rid of the ball fast, but it's just way over his head. And these are the types of throws that we've seen Zach not being able to hit throughout his career. Um, I will say that these types of throws that he missed, we have not seen a lot this season. He's kind of cleaned up. This types of stuff, but not not on this rep. Not on this rep. You got to hit this easy out route. He's got like two yards of separation. CJ catches this, turns up the field, gets tackled, it goes out of bounds, and it's an easy first down. Instead, it brings up third down. And on third down, Zach over the middle to Lazard, almost kills Lazard, and Lazard gets wrecked over the middle of the field. I don't know how he was able to survive that hit. But this was a crazy, crazy hit by the L.A. Chargers. I mean, he was open, but the safety help really broke this play up. I mean, you can't ask for a better defensive play from the safety, honestly. That's just excellent timing from the safety. Um, I like the route concept. Lazard beat his man one-on-one. -on -one, but the safety was just over the middle and killed him. Absolutely killed them. So, and that's going to be the punt. And this is where the Jets uh, give up seven points. Let's see what happened on this one. We missed Justin Hardy. You got Eccles and Irvin Charles as the two gunners. He catches the ball here. And Irvin Charles, the first one that needs to make this tackle. You see him square his hips. He dives, not able to bring him down. And then he plants his foot in the ground, gets by the first line of defense. And right when you get by there, all you got to do is beat Thomas Morstead, and then you're gone. Oh, my God. That was just... What a terrible way to start off the game, man. What an awful way to start off the game, bro. Brennan Eccles, what are you doing? Make this tackle right here. That's what Justin Hardy would have done. But no excuse. No injury excuse. I don't care that our captain or special team's down. You can't let this happen. You can't give up a freaking touchdown on the first punt of the day. Especially coming off a, you know, we were praising the punt team last week because of Thomas Morstead. That was Charles, not Eccles. No, that was Charles and Eccles. This is Charles right here. This is Eccles right here. So here's Charles. Here's Eccles. They both missed their tackles. So they both they both missed the tackle. Not just one of them. They both did. Charles whiffed it, and then Eccles had a chance to clean it up, and he wasn't able to do it. Okay, let's get back onto the offense. 7 nothing Chargers early. First down. Hand off to Brees, and he gets a decent gain on first down. You like that. Second down, and the Jets tried out something new on offense this game, which was um, up-tempo offense, which I kind of liked. Zach makes a rip 
to Garrett Wilson. Garrett almost makes a spectacular grab, unable to bring it in. I mean, this is a throw that you like. I like that Zach Wilson made this throw personally. You throw it only where Garrett Wilson can make the catch. You see that violent uh, cut outside from Garrett. The ball's out, and the ball's only where Garrett can get it. I mean, this is where the ball has to be. If the ball's any shorter, it could have been incomplete. I mean, it already is incomplete, but you put the ball in a situation to make to allow Garrett Wilson to make a play, but it was just too difficult of a play to make. So now third down for the New York Jets. But Brees Hall picks up the first down for the boys to move the chains. A little swing route to Brees. He gets the handoff, or not a handoff, swing route rather. And then you got two blockers ahead, and you got one man to beat. And Brees patiently hesitates, spin move, picks up the first down, and the Jets move the chains. And we're like, okay, we're actually moving the ball here. Let's hand the ball to Dalvin Cook. Dalvin gets a few yards. Second down and seven. Zach pump fakes, and then he checks it down to Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook picks up two yards, and now it's another third down. And the Jets pick up the first down with Garrett Wilson, but Garrett fumbles. So here it is, third down. Little screen pass to Garrett. I'm sorry, this is first down, I believe. This is first and 10 for the Jets. First and 10. And Garrett Wilson, I love that play call, just fumbles, man. We had momentum on offense, and Garrett Wilson got to protect that football, bro. You got to protect that football. Only 25 likes. Everybody smash that like button right now. Thank you, Rich, for reminding the people. Zach's just got to do a better job than that, man. No excuse there. Protect the football. <sighs> and we were, we were driving. We were moving, and that's the biggest frustration for me with this offense and this game, folks. We showed a lot of momentum, a lot of juice for it to, for it to just... Oh. Great play from the Chargers deep defender to punch that ball out. All right. Now the defense has a chance to get a stop. First and 10. A little false start for the Chargers. First and 15 now. A little swing route to Eckler. JFM had a day. JFM had three pass deflections. And I just wish something could go in our favor. Oh, JFM batted it up. Why couldn't it just land in CJ Mosey's lap and he returns it to six? You know what I mean? Again, I might be asking for too much, but that seems like the only way the Jets can win football games is if the defense scores. Right? Like, why can't the ball's batted up? Why can't it just land in CJ's lap and he returns it for six to take that punt return back? But hey, great play from JFM. Can't complain there. Second and 15. Herbert checks it down to Everett and he fumbles, but the Jets can't pick it up. You see what I mean? That's two straight plays on defense where we're that close. A little lag right here. Everett catches it. Oh, man, look at this lag. My apologies. What's going on here? DJ Reed does a great job. He knocks the ball out. Ball's free. Ball's out. Quincy Williams unable to drop on it, and the Chargers get the ball back, bro. That would have gave the Jets excellent field position. We could have got three points minimum, which we probably would have got three points knowing the offense. And now third down and long. Herbert drops way deep, checks it down to Keenan Allen. And he is short of the marker. That's another three and out from the Jets defense. So that's two straight defensive three and outs. And the Jets offense gets another rep. The run game not working. You can't play good offense without a run game. It's that simple. You hand the ball off the breeze here. You got Tomlinson pulling. I mean, good initial blocks, but then the gaps close. Tyler Conklin. I really think the biggest issue with the blocking in this game was the tight ends. I really do. Conklin's got to do a better job in his block right here. Watch him on Thule. If Conklin holds up on this block and he's out of this play, then Brees gets to get through this hole and just bend around and have, you know, one-on-one -on -one with this defender. 
Instead, it's second down. And a little screen pass to Brees, and Brees gets creamed. These Chargers defense, man, they came out here with a lot of juice. They were hitting hard. You see this little screen pass to Brees. Watch Derwin James just pop Brees. Damn. Now third down and long. And this was actually a great throw and a great play um, from the rookie, Xavier Gibson. So this is third down. Gibson had two big-time third-down conversions for the Jets' offense. Let's see what the route concept is. You see Xavier Gibson one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it's a, it's a zone. So he just gets behind the soft coverage of the zone, and Zach delivers his ball right on time. And, bro, if, he, if Gibson was able to just break off that tackle, oh, my God, the man was gone. The man was gone. But, hey, you can't complain. Third down, let's watch the quarterback, Zach Wilson, here. Play action. Zach notices that Gibson's going to get behind the defender. Right there, quick release, delivers the ball right on time. Rifle on a frozen rope. And then Gibson does a great job to hold on to the ball. First down, Jets. So, got to like that play. Because the Jets are the worst offense in the NFL on third down. So, it's good to see some type of optimism on third down. Great to see something to build off of on third down. All right, the Jets get the ball in Chargers territory. Brees gets the handoff. He goes up the middle for a solid five yards. What goes wrong here? Another handoff to Brees. Brees cuts up the field. He only gets a gain of two. And then now it's third down. And now Zach, pump fakes, pump fakes. Oh, this is the fumble. You see what I mean? That's two straight possessions where the offense actually showing life. Big third down conversion to Xavier Gibson and then a fumble. Last drive, we had a big third down conversion and then we get a fumble from Garrett Wilson. That's back-to-back -back possessions where we're moving the ball and then it hurt and then we turn it over. So it's just sloppy, bro. It's sloppiness. It's inexcusable. It's not like we're... This like in this game, we're gonna notice the Jets offense didn't struggle moving the ball. They struggled with protecting the ball and getting away from penalties. That was the issue. And we're gonna break it down, obviously. More. Well, let's see what happened here. Who got beat? I'm pretty sure this Billy Turner got absolutely walloped at right tackle. You see Bosa just drive Zach back into him. Fumble. Now let's look at the back view and see what was the routes. Who if 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 anybody was open. So pause it here. This is where Zach needs to maybe climb up in the pocket, but look down the field. Where's anybody open? Somebody want to let me know if anybody's open? Now, it's no excuse. Zach cannot fumble here. He needs to protect the ball. If he gets sacked, at least go down and not turn the ball over. But when you look, where is anybody open? Bosa just hit Zach here. And look, one, two, three, four Jets all covered. The only option he had is Brees down in a little check down. So you like to see Zach maybe climb in the pocket, maybe escape the pocket, roll to his right, roll to his left, but you count real quick. Ready? One, two, three, and the ball's out. So this is why the film adds a little more context here. Zach scanning the field. Didn't feel the pressure. And and what I would like to see Zach do here is step into the pocket if he feels the pressure and maybe uh, escape the pocket as well. Use your legs a little bit instead of standing in there like a statue and not protecting the ball. Because if there's nobody open down the field, you got to have your first instinct is abandon the pocket and make something happen with your legs. So there's nobody open down the field. So right here, Zach is looking for Conklin over the middle. He's completely blanketed. He's going to look over here to Garrett. He's going to actually cock back. But then it's too late. Ball's already out. So just one one more time from this angle. You see that he looked to the right. No one's open. He looks over to the middle of the field. Conklin's not open. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, wait, there's a Chargers defender that'll pick this ball off if I throw it here. So then he just holds on to it. And then the pocket just collapses on him, right? Yeah, you, you say, yeah, escape the pocket, roll to your right, roll to your left, but like you you then you pause it where the pocket right here maybe Zach can step up and just run right right through this gap. 
But again, it's hard to do that. You like to see Zach just tuck it and run. Tuck it and run. But again, that's a lot easier said than done. Bosa closes that gap in an instant, and the ball's out. So, so I think this is a collective effort. I think this is on the offensive line. I think this is on the route concept. I think it's on the receivers not getting open. And it's on Zach because there's no excuse here. He's got to protect the ball. But at the same time, Billy Turner's got to protect him. Okay? Billy Turner just let... Bosa get to Zach Wilson in less than three seconds, okay? A quarterback getting hit in less than three seconds is a recipe for disaster. So this this one is a collective failure, that, that, that play. And now this is the touchdown drive for the Chargers. Let me just add context to this, folks. The Chargers are starting with the ball at the 50-yard line. That is because of the offense. That is because of the offense. So this is going to be the touchdown drive, I believe, that the Chargers get. Eckler, their only touchdown drive of the game, by the way. That has to start on the 50-yard line, by the way. Another handoff goes nowhere. And this is the broken down play. This this one hurt, man. Third down, Herbert makes something happen. Broken down. CJ Mosley has Eckler covered, but Eckler's going to just escape and free up down the sideline. Herbert's waiting for him to break off his route. He finally does. Herbert finds him for the first down, and that's extending the drive, and that's going to give the Chargers all they need to score a touchdown. So unfortunately, they were unable. You see this lane that opens up for Herbert to run? The Jets do a great job of closing the gap on him to not allow him to sprint, but you see Herbert waiting for Eckler. Break free, break free, break free. That's what great quarterbacks do, man. Frustrating stuff. And then they have an explosive run. To Eckler down the left sideline eventually. Sauce Gardner all over. I mean, look at Sauce. You're not doing anything on that, man. And this is the play where Eckler just squeaks by down the left sideline, down at the one. Penalty on, on the Jets for a face mask. Little toss to the left. Quincy Williams unable to make the tackle. Jordan Whitehead missed the tackle. So, unfortunate there. The Jets defense did, did solid at the goal line. They made a couple stands. This, this is a penalty, but then Eckler eventually gets in the end zone for the touchdown. So, just like that, the Jets go down 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing. Because of a special teams punt return for a touchdown. Because of two fumbles from the offense already. And one of the fumbles set up this touchdown. The Chargers needed to go 50 yards. You can't ask the defense to shut down a high-flying offense like the Chargers when you give them that great field position, okay? The defense did everything they possibly could in this game. And again, the, the film adds so much context to everything, folks. Everything, in my opinion, at least. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did not already. How many likes did we got? Only 41 likes. Only 41 of you guys enjoy these film breakdowns. That's sad. It's okay, though. We're going to continue regardless or not. All right, first down. Jets down 14 nothing in the first quarter. First play, swing to Brees Hall. Early on in this game, and this this drove me nuts. You see Brees Hall on his knees, and they were bending him backwards. And I'm sitting there cringing. I'm like, can we stop hitting Brees? Because we know that Brees is literally the most valuable piece to this offense. And I'm seeing this guy's knees getting bent around, and I'm freaking out. I know it's football, but like, like watch this. Like I just seen his knees, his knee get caught. And the Chargers defender still dragging him down. I remember screaming at the TV like, chill! <laughs> Get off my guy, Brees! All right, second down. Another hand off to Brees. And look at this! A beautiful run, but a flag. This is what I mean! Oh, good play? Well, guess what? Illegal formation on Alan Lazard. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Excuse my language. But Alan Lazard doesn't get set. You see the ball snapped and he's not set. That's what the flag is about. And look at the hole. 
You know what? It would have been our luck if Brees actually broke free for a touchdown. Can you imagine if Brees somehow escaped and got a 75-yard touchdown for it to get called back because of that penalty? Well, look at Brees, the spin move. Woo! Picking up the extra yards. We can't even be happy because this play didn't count. Gosh. You can't blame the refs on this. This is purely on Alan Lazard's sloppy mental error. And you love the blocking here. Look at Joe Tittman get into the second level. Look at Joe Tittman. CJ Uzama does a great job. Look at the hole. Look at the spin move. And this play doesn't count. So we had so much momentum just get thrown away. And now instead of it being first and 10 at the, let's see where he finishes here. Instead of it being first and 10 at the 39-yard line, First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Instead, it's second down and 15 at the 20. So that's like a 20-yard penalty. 20-yard penalty! Now Zach drops back, flings it out to Uzama for three yards. Great. I mean, was there not anybody open down the field? Not really. I mean, that, that's a tough throw to make to Garrett. This defender can easily pick that off. Gibson's not open. Lazard's not open. So he checks it down. And now in third down and long, you have confidence that the Jets can pick this one up? Third and long. Zach throws it up to Garrett. And he's two out of bounds. I like to see, I like this, um, I like this effort. I like the play call. But, you want to see Zach throw this ball a little bit more in bounds because Garrett has to go back and he's too tight, barely gets his feet. Yeah, incomplete, tough. Third and long, he throws it up to Garrett one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you can't blame him. It's third and long, take a shot. Don't be conservative. Don't check it down. Don't play like, oh, let's play the field position game. Let's take a shot down the field. And I think that if this ball was a little closer, I mean... He almost made a freaking crazy catch, but he couldn't hold it in. Where, where are his feet in bounds? Let's see this real quick. Bro, Garrett's two feet was in bounds, but the Chargers defender knocked the ball out. That would have been a wild catch. Wild. Let's go. All right, defense gets back on the field. A little check down the Everett. This is where John Franklin Myers almost got the sack, but instead he checks it down the Everett, and he somehow, some way, escapes down the sideline. And listen, this defense isn't perfect. They're not going to just... They're going to make their mistakes, but they actually bounce back after their mistakes and make up for it, right? JFM should have should have sacked him there. CJ Mosley should have tackled him there. But it's all good because the defense wakes up and does what they do best. Another first down run to Kelly. Play action. Herbert checks it down. CJ's all over it. Now it's second down, and the Jets get their first sack of the day. See what I mean? By Jermaine Johnson. Watch Jermaine right here. Lined up in the wide nine. Just completely bull rushes through. Playing like an absolute menace. Bryce Huff, I think, got home first, actually. Watch Bryce Huff on this edge. I mean, the fact that we have J.J. and Bryce Huff screaming off opposite edges is just a thing of beauty. Watch Bryce Huff. Wow. Just completely steamrolling him. One arm. You see how wide these four rushers are? How spread out they are? That's the solid specialty. And you see Solly drop back. This is a three-man rush. <laughs> 
This is a three-man rush, and we got a sack, dude. What? That's craziness. Solly drops back in the zone, and we get home on a three-man rush. Watch Bryce Huff. And the, the philosophy here is to get Bryce Huff one-on-one. -on -one. And that's exactly what he gets, and he just completely... Makes his move. Shout out to Bryce Huff. Extend that man. Now a third down and long. Eckler just drops it. So the defense gets a stop and the offense gets a chance. Down 14 to nothing. Let's see what the offense can do in the second quarter. First and 10. I formation. And off the breeze and a negative play. I mean, you can't have negative plays. It's so predictable. Oh, yeah, handoff on first down. How about a play action on first down and take a shot down the field like we did against the Chiefs? Where was that? I mean, look at look one, two, three, four. Four Chargers defenders tackling Brees at the same time. That's just unbelievable. Second down and 11. Play action. And Zach fading away, throws it to Nick Bowden, the fullback, which is a decent play on second and long to bring up third down and short. Third down and four, and it's going to be a great route. Oh, wait, no, this is, I'm sorry, this is the fumble. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Just sloppiness, dude. Brees Hall fumbling a freaking toss, and I kind of like this play. You see that little speed motion, but the execution's not there. I like the play design. We haven't seen this from a Hackett offense. I'm just saying. I like the play design, but they can't even execute it. Brees is going to go in motion and then come back around for the toss. Like, I kind of like that idea. You see him go in motion, plant his feet in the ground, come back. And, bro, if he caught this. Oh, my God, dude. You got to be joking me. Brees, you're better than that. And the broadcast was, like, blaming Zach for this. I mean, give me a break. Blaming Zach for this toss. Zach had a lot of issues, but Brees got to catch that, okay? If Brees gets this, he has... Dude, he would have been gone. Like, he had a lead blocker of Mekhi Becton coming around to block 43. And this is just so freaking frustrating. This is why it's not all on the play caller. This is why it's not all on the quarterback. It's on everybody collectively. This is on Brees Hall, who I love. Garrett Wilson also had a fumble. So if he catches this, again, look at the green in front of him with the lead blocker of Makai Becton to get him. You don't think Brees Hall's gone down the left sideline and having one man to beat? This freaking close. Sloppiness, man. Sloppiness. And it looks like it would have been a negative gain anyway, but that's not even the case because he had to go inside, which he wouldn't have done if he just caught the damn toss. Watch it from this angle. Fumbled. And look, man, you got all day if he catches this to bend around. Luckily, he was able to get the ball back, so it's not a turnover. But still, man, that's a first down, if not an explosive run, if he just caught it. I love the play call. I love it, but not executed. Not executed at all. And now the defense gets back onto the field. Oh, guys, don't forget to hit that like button so we can all suffer through the pain together. Adrian Amos with the stop, who's been a very solid jet, by the way. Second down, play action. Herbert drops back. I mean, look at the look at the coverage downfield. Herbert wants to go deep, by the way. Look, look at him going. Look at Herbert setting up deep. Let's see the coverage. He wants to go deep. <laughs> look at this coverage. Shut down. Shut down. That's where Herbert's looking. He wants to go down the field. Nowhere. So Herbert smartly just has to do the check down. And he doesn't even catch it. So incomplete. And that's because of the coverage down the field. And now the Chargers are doing an up-tempo offense. Keep the Jets' defense on their heels. This is the same play. 
And now this is where the defense just gets home, baby. Third down sack again. Interesting that they had Jermaine Johnson lined up inside and, and JFM lined up as a defensive end and they pull and they ran a twist. I kind of like that creativity. They're using Jermaine Johnson similar to how the Cowboys use uh, Michael Parsons, lining him up everywhere. Look at Jermaine lined up as a D-tackle right here. The reason for that is because he's going to twist outside and Jermaine, uh, JFM is going to come inside, which causes... An immediate pressure from JJ, which forces Herbert to step into the pocket and go right into the arms of John Franklin Myers, who had a hell of a night. And just a shout out to Quinn and Williams, my man John in the chat, noticing it. Q double team. Everyone's like, oh, Quinn and Williams stinks this year. Yeah, there's a reason why that the players around him are feasting. Because look at this double team. They're doubling Quin Quinnen. Without this double team, there's no one-on-one. -on -one. JFM and JJ made these two players look silly because Quinnen Williams has the presence of forcing a double team. Quinnen gets no... And look at him celebrating. He's pumped up for his boys on third down. And here we go. The Jets get another chance on offense with decent field position. Look at this field position. 45-yard line. You should be able to go down the field and score. And I think they get three points here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. First and 10. What's the play? Hand off to Brees. Brees goes up the field. I kind of wish they handed it to Gibson here. I remember thinking that. There's a lot of grass for Gibson. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, my God. Look at all this field. If Gibson got this ball, dude, he would have had one defender to try to beat. And Garrett had blocked this guy. Just saying. But instead, it's a five-yard gain. Second and five. Uh, Bosa jumps off sides there. Free play. Zach completes it to Lazard. He actually catches the ball, and it's a first down. Oh my God. The Jets know how to get a first down. Lazard catches it. Quick out route. On time. Accurate. Good throw, good catch. First down, Jets. Let's see what happens next. Showing some life on offense. What do you think is going to break this drive? Let's find out. First and 10. Toss to Brees Hall. Brees has space. Spin move. Oof. He has a great run on first down. And this is where you kind of feel like, okay, this is the drive. This is the drive that the Jets are going to score a touchdown. That's what it feels like, right? That's what it feels like right now. Look at all the space. Spin move. Brees is so good. Now it's second down and short, I believe. Oh, no, it's first and 10. That was the first down. First and 10. And, oh, my God. Dalvin Cook drops it. And he looks immediately. I don't know whose fault this is, but Dalvin, you had all day. This was your chance to have a big play for the Jets. This was it. I mean, it was kind of a fastball. I mean, Zach, you got to put a little less on that. All right, Zach kind of threw that ball a little too fast and away from the running back for my liking. You just got to lob it up and make it a very catchable, easy ball and not not throw a fastball in this situation. Um, I think this is on Zach, in my opinion. But Dalvin's got to catch it. Dalvin's got to catch it. Zach's got to throw a more catchable ball, but there's still no excuse. Dalvin's got to catch that because if he catches it, let me just show you the space that this guy had. Dalvin's got to catch this. This could have been his biggest play as a Jet. Watch, watch the room he had. If he catches this ball, look at all the space. He bends around. Look at all the space. I mean, I'm not saying it's a touchdown, but that's an explosive 10, 15 yards. And then the Jets would have had... Oh. Execution, man. That's what I'm saying. It, play calling... Deserves criticism, but at sometimes you watch it and you're like, this is a good play design that lacked execution. Look at Tipman out there, man. It's just so infuriating. So instead of a first down, and 
End off to Dalvin Cook. And there's a flag. What's the flag on this? Forgot. Definitely on the Jets. I forgot what the flag was, but now it's second and long. And Zach checks it down to Ruckert for a gain of like five or seven yards to bring up third down. And then on third down, this was the play that made all of us sick. Third down and seven. And Zach had a chance to pick up this first down with his legs. All right, nobody's open down the field. Okay, what does Zach do? Oh, smart move, Zach. You're stepping up into the pocket. Now, he had all day to run. Now, now that I look at it on film, I will say he had a long way to go. He needed to get to the 31. And there's two Chargers defenders, which easily would have came down on him. So, I'm not going to criticize Zach too much on this because even if he tucked it and ran, I don't even know if he had enough space to pick up the first down. But you still rather him not do that. Right? What's the smart move? Flicking it to a halfback who has a linebacker right on him or t- keeping yourself with all this, gr- all this room? The smart move is to tuck it. But I don't know if I think that Zach is getting to the 24-yard line with two chargers probably pursuing him. But hey, at the end of the day, the, the Jets still have Greg Zerline. And Greg the Leg puts the Jets up on the board for the first time. And it's 14-3 to now in the second quarter. And the defense keeps doing def- defense things. They actually got Jermaine Johnson on this play for a flag. Hands to the face. First down for the Chargers. Eckler, Quincy Williams, not letting them do anything. Watch watch Quin, uh, Quincy Williams, who's having an all-pro season, recognizing it, dancing, seeing Eckler, not allowing Everett to block him, cutting inside, tackle for loss. Excellent stuff. Second down and long, Herbert. I mean, look at Sauce Gardner, bro. Dude, look at the range that this guy has. Look at the range. Stops on a dime. And look at Sauce flip his hips and explode on the ball. Look at the separation, but then the closing speed, bro. Closing speed. Ball, the timing is perfect. Ball's out. And that's the second pass deflection of the night. Just want to remind everybody that Sauce Gardner is still one of, if not the best corner in football. Like, this guy doesn't give up touchdowns. He doesn't give up catches. The separation's unreal. I mean, the man is just on another level. And, like, he doesn't even need to make a lot of plays, which is the crazy part because no one throws the ball his way. I mean, let's not take these for granted, folks. It's a small little play, but I'm going to highlight it because Sauce deserves his praise for doing his job at a high level. I believe this is third and long. And watch DJ Reed say, oh, Sauce, you want to pass deflection? How about my turn? DJ Reed clamped. Hmm. Same side of the field. I don't know why they switch things up, which is I find interesting. Now, Sauce is on this side, and DJ's on this side. Usually, they don't really do that, so I'm curious what the philosophy was here, but watch DJ Reed say, oh, Sauce, you want to do something good? My turn. Watch this break on the ball. Undercut it. I mean, he is all over that, extending fully like freaking Superman, getting his hand on it. DJ Reed, we missed you, fool. DJ Reed is, like, so underrated. So underrated. Look at that effort. PFF rated DJ Reed as the number one corner in football. That's all you need to know, how good he's been this season. He's so good. Shout out, DJ. Shout out, Sauce. We love you. All right, now the Jets offense gets a chance. Okay, we scored three points on the last possession. Right? The score is 14-3. to three. The defense gets another stop. The Jets want to make this a game. Let's go down the field and score. Let's go down the field and score. First and 10. It's an empty set for Zach. Ball out quickly to Garrett Wilson. 
He completes it for a short gain. Okay, I like that at first and 10. Second down, hand off the breeze. And nothing really cooking there. Third down, and this was one of my favorite plays of the day. This was another, uh, the second big third down conversion to the rookie Gibson. Now, this is a little hitch route, man coverage, a little hook. You see Gibson feel the separate, feel the uh, soft coverage that he's getting. Turns around, balls out, first down. Now, my favorite part about this as well is watch Zach Wilson's eyes. Zach Wilson's looking left right here. So his first read is to Garrett. Doesn't like what he sees. Looks to his right. Knows that it's man coverage. Knows that Gibson's going to be open. Steps into his throw. Delivers a bullet. First down. So this is a great sign because the Jets have been struggling on third down all season. They are literally one of the worst teams, or not the, one of, they are the worst team in the NFL on third down. So you like to see the progression on third down. Again, Zach's looking left. First read's not there. Okay, second read, Conklin. What's Conklin doing? He's not covered. He's completely blanketed. All right, third read. Square your feet. Make the accurate throw. First down. So it looked like Zach went through one, two, and then hit his third progression, which is showing you some prog uh, signs of progression of his mental because that's what we need Zach to do, figure things out process things, that's a good rep from Zach Wilson and the offense. But, unfortunately, don't think it's going to end well. First and 10, and the Chargers sniff out the screen all the way, and he just has to dirt it. This is, pro this is a problem. I feel like the Jets can't even get a screen pass executed. Yes, I love the play call. Get the ball into Brees Hall's hands. But look at Brees. The Chargers are literally sniffing it out. So the only option that Zach has here is to just dirt it because he's got two chargers in his throat. So he smartly dirts it to prevent a negative play. I mean, when you're watching it live, you're probably thinking, what the heck kind of throw is that? Well, he just dirted it because watch Brees completely covered. Now, second down. Oh, no, this is third down, I think. No, this is second down and nine. Quick pass to Lazard. Dropped. 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 A little hitch route. Let's pick up some extra yards to make a third and manageable. Ball literally hits your hands. And he drops it. Just drops it. And now third down. This is where the Jets get sacked. Let's see what happened here. One, two, three. So, no one's... Yeah. This is, this is just offensive line mishaps. I mean, what do you want the quarterback to do here? I'm just speaking how I'm looking at it. So, let's look down the field. Let's see if he can... Okay, he plants his foot in. Can he make the throw right now? Well, there's a defender in his face. So if he was maybe Aaron Rodgers, he'd flick this over the middle 30 yards to Gibson. I don't know, but he that's not possible because, look, the, he's already wrapped up. So this is just one of those plays where the pressure got home so fast. Let's see it from this angle. What happened? Who got beat? Max Mitchell just gets steamrolled inside. And when you have interior pressure like that, that's hard. Max Mitchell playing right guard for the first time in his life gets killed. Let's see. Let's count it out. How many, how, how many seconds this was? One, two... Three, yeah, I mean, three seconds in the pocket is ridiculous. So that that possession was broken. First play, they sniffed out the screen. Zach spiked it instead of giving Brees a chance. On second down, throws a little quick hitch route to Lazard. He drops it. Third down, sacked. 
And now the defense gets a chance to do their job. And spoiler alert, they do their job. Check down the Eckler. Defense is all there. Second down. Let me just go back to this sack one more time. I mean, someone in the chat said Zach Wilson should have stepped up in the pocket. So let's see if he could have stepped up. Because I agree. I think his pocket presence has been really, really lackluster. So if Zach felt the pressure right here, he would need to step up in the pocket right over here, which was collapsing anyway. Because Billy... So I don't really see anywhere where Zach could have stepped up. You like to see maybe a band in the pocket, maybe roll to his left. I don't know, but this looks like he's got some space here. So let's step up. If he steps up, look what would have happened. I mean, I don't think stepping up in the pocket would have done anything other than him getting sacked. <laughs> Second down for the Chargers offense. And they get a sack, baby. Quentin Jefferson, who's been such an underrated signing by Joe Douglas, by the way. Jefferson's been a great Jet. Relentless spin move. Bring him down. Sack by Jefferson. Now it's third down and short. Keenan Allen picks up the first down. That's going to happen. It's a new set of chains. Herbert. Oh, Whitehead. You got to pick that off. Whitehead had a chance, bro. Whitehead had a chance. He read this perfectly. As good as his defense was, they could have been great. And being great is by getting turnovers. And if the ball is like in your lap like this, Whitehead, you got to come down with that freaking interception, bro. Unfortunately, we need to rely on you to be great. Unfortunately, we rely on the defense to win us the games. And now a miscommunication by Herbert, and now all of a sudden it's third down. And look at this pass rush, bro. Third down for the Jets' defense, and they do their job. Look at the pressure. Four-man rush. Bryce Huff screaming off the edge. I mean, just literally, Quinnen Williams, Bryce Huff in his face. Herbert has no choice but to throw it away. Watch Bryce Huff scream off this edge. No chance. Look at Quinn and Williams in his face. Two Jets players all over him. Incomplete. Defense yet again doing their job. All right. The Jets have a chance. Two-minute drill. Empty set for Zach. First down. He throws it up to Lazard, and Lazard drops it. Now, this was a good play by the Chargers defender, but I would like to see a little more effort from Lazard, personally. I would like to see a little bit more effort. I would like to see Lazard kind of go towards the ball and attack it instead of fading away and down and trying to catch it. Because if you're an aggressive receiver, if you're one of the great big time six foot five receivers that Lazard is, you you jump towards the ball and catch it with your hands and bring it in. You don't wait for the ball to come to you. You go attack that ball. And Lazard didn't do that. And, and that's what's frustrating. Like we didn't have any playmaker help out. We didn't have a quarterback play good. Like, the issue with this offense, folks, is we have a subpar quarterback when Zach Wilson, who we all know who is struggling, mixed in with nobody around him helping. So it's just a recipe for failure. So the Charger defender does a great job to get his ball, his hand on the ball. I get that. But I like to see Lazard be a little more aggressive of pursuing that catch. That's just me. And then second down, Zach, back-to-back, -back, aggressive throws down the field. This one... Tried to be a little too aggressive. Steps up, fires it. He's got Garrett Wilson, but this linebacker just beyond the reach of the linebacker's hands, off the fingertips. Not the best throw from Zach. He's being aggressive. He's trying to make plays, and he's not making the right decision there. 
Third down and long. And he's just going to check it down to Conklin. See what I mean? The defense just keeps playing their heart out, and then the offense comes out with that. Third down. What kind of play is this on third down, bro? Third and 10. Zip it to freaking Gibson, bro. Why are we going underneath? Stop going underneath on third down and expecting your tight end to make a play. He's got a decent pocket right here. Fire this thing to Gibson. He's got the window. Why are you looking at your check down? If I'm Zach, I know that you feel the pressure. Square your feet. We know that he has an arm to do that. And deliver a bullet in between this window to Gibson. First down. Instead, he goes the safe route. See, this is where the lack of aggression gets me, man. You see Gibson get into the second level. Right here, he could have stepped up in the pocket. Instead, his feet are shuffling the wrong way. Don't throw this way. You got Gibson open over the middle. Right there. Square your feet. Fire it over the middle of the field. You can't see from this angle, but Gibson's open over the middle. Instead, let's just check it down to Conklin. And, oh, but we have a good defense, and let's just rely on our defense to do everything. Great. And then the Chargers offense picks up enough yards to get three points before half. Which was frustrating. Very frustrating. Hit the 55-yarder, and that's halftime. And then the cool thing is, the Jets offense had their best drive of the day coming at a half. And I'm like, oh my god. We can still win this game because I don't know about you guys. I still believe the Jets can win any game that they're down, even if it's down by two possessions. I was like, the Jets can still win this game. I mean, we've seen crazier things. That Giants game, how did we win? The Eagles game, we were losing all game. How did we win? Weird things have happened. So I was actually optimistic, especially after seeing this drive. Watch this. This was the Zach Wilson that I've been wanting to see. This is the, this is the best Zach Wilson throw of the game, okay? This is it. Because it's off schedule. It's making a play with your legs. It's the play breaks down. This is what I thought we were going to see from Zach. Okay, this is the exact type of thing that I wanted to see from Zach this year. First and 10, I like the aggressiveness. Play action pass on first down. Thank you. All right. You know what? No one's open. All right. Let me use my legs. Let me, let me extend the play. Let me roll out. This is the first time we've seen Zach roll out all game. Let's roll out and let's give Garrett Wilson extra time to get open. Because if you give Garrett Wilson extra time to get open, he will be open. And Zach does a great job on the run, delivering a 35, I mean, a 30, a, like a 40-yard pass on the run to Garrett Wilson. Like, where was this all game? Zach is the best on the run. Zach is the best out of the pa out of the pocket. And the fact that this is the first time all game, it took until the second half, is ridiculous. Do that more often, Zach. I mean, he put this ball in a frozen rope, throwing to his left from the 20-yard line to the opposing 45-yard line. He made that thing look easy. But the problem is, again, inconsistencies. No one gives a crap about this one throw if it results in six points. And we shouldn't care. We shouldn't be praising this throw. Like, oh, but look, we shouldn't. If this was a consistency that he does all the time, we're like, yeah, he's, he's got it. But what took so long? When I saw this, I was like, okay, we have something here on this drive. Finally, this is this reminded me of the Chiefs game, a play action on first down. Oh, no one's open. The pocket's starting to collapse. Let me roll out to the left. Let me make something happen. Look at that throw on the run. Zipped. That's a dime. That was a freaking dime. But again, when you pair that with all the negatives that he's shown in the game, no one's going to care if you can't do that more consistently. That's the issue. All right. We have a chance to score here. Momentum's on our side. 45-yard line in Chargers territory. Hand off the Brees Hall. Spin move. He makes nothing out of something. If I'm the Jets there, I do another play action pass. Just saying. I, We got a big play on first down with the play action. Let's do play action again. But instead, they do a handoff, and Brees 
has nowhere to go, man. The run game was just absolutely disgraceful in this game. A joke. Second down and seven. Zach Wilson has a very good pocket. And he uh, delivers it to CJ Uzama for the first down. So now we're seeing a different Zach. And we're like, wow, maybe this is it. Zach delivers a freaking rope from the opposite hash across the field onto Uzama, and Uzama picks up the first down. First and 10 for the Jets. We're actually moving the ball. And I know what happens here, guys. I remember what happened. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Things are moving. All right, little screen pass to Garrett Wilson. The same play he fumbled on. Let's give him a second chance. That's a five-yard gain. Sorry for the lag. But I like it. First and 10. Now it's... Now it's second and five. All right, we're moving. Let's be aggressive. Let's throw the ball down the field. Let's throw the ball down the field. Play action. Great pass. Tyler Conklin. He gets it inside the 15-yard line. And this is the greatest drive that we've seen of the day. Look at this. Look at this. Play action. Zone coverage. You see the crossing route. Zach knows that Conklin's going to get open. He does a great job throwing the ball before he's even open. He's throwing him open. That's called anticipation. That's called timing. That's a great freaking throw. Great catch from Conklin. And that's an explosive play. But the Jets, when they had a chance, at this point, you're like, yo, you got to score a touchdown. It's 14 to, no, it's 17 to 3 at, the, at this point. You got to score a touchdown. This is the opening drive of the second half, by the way. But I don't know if you guys remember what happens here. First play is a handoff. I don't like the handoff. Throw it. Throw it. But it's not. And then the next two plays, I won't spoil it. It's sad. This, this, is, this is what's so frustrating. Let's see what went wrong. Second down, Zach under center. Play action. And look at this, sacked. Nobody is open. It's a three-man route. We had two tight ends blocking. We have Tyler Conklin with literally five Chargers defenders on him. And then Garrett Wilson, not open. Sacked. Are you kidding me? The Jets had Uzama and Ruckert. They had max protect, basically, and on a two-man route. I don't know what type. This, is, uh, this for me, is on Hackett. I don't, I don't like this play call. I think this is a terrible play call. Terrible. Play action. You have two tight ends that can't block, I guess. And right here, what do you want Zach to do, okay? Tyler Conklin... You can't throw this ball there. That's intercepted. Garrett Wilson is not open. Carter, not open. Billy Turner gets killed, and the pocket collapses. This is a scheme. This is this is just collapse. I mean, look at Uzama get literally molly -whopped. And he's got two Chargers defender in how many seconds? Less than three seconds. Let's see it from this angle one more time. And you see, you know, Garrett Wilson had an opportunity for a touchdown here, right? So Conklin was clamped. And there is a window to squeeze in a Garrett Wilson touchdown. But the issue is it has to be on time. And the timing gets killed from the protection. Watch. If the ball is thrown right now, that could have been a touchdown. It could have been, but you see the pressure affecting Zach? You see the pressure in his face? This guy, it's hard to see from here, but this Chargers defender is literally in his face. And if Zach can just somehow just deliver a bullet and squeeze that ball in to Garrett right here. But look, he's getting, he's already getting hit. So, again, this is tough. The ball should have been out earlier, for sure. The ball could have been out earlier. 
If the ball was out, let's see. Ball was out right now. Ball's out. But, like, we're asking him to get the ball out immediately as the pressure gets to his face. So it's really hard. Like, you want the ball out now, maybe throw the ball to Brees, but I don't think you can tell from this angle. Like, if you watch it from the opposite angle, you're asking him to throw the ball right here. This is where we pause it. This is where we pause it on the other angle. So you see two defenders, you want him to throw the ball, but the pocket collapses. So again... It's a collective here, in my opinion. Zach could have got the ball out earlier. Offensive line could have gave Zach more time. Both things are true. I think both things are true. If you want Zach to be perfect and play like a top-tier quarterback, like Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers probably makes this throw right now. But guess what? <laughs> Nobody's expecting Zach to be Aaron Rodgers. I mean, this is where you want him to throw the ball. And again, he's already getting hit. So it's so hard to tell. Like, you're, you're asking him to do, like, top 10 level quarterback play. I put this on the scheme and the play call, man. You don't call this. Like, you're asking him to throw this ball now when, again, I wish I can just show you what the pocket looks like inside. There's... Three Chargers defenders in his face. You're expecting him to zip this thing in there or check it down when the watch, watch when I hit play. Watch what happens. Immediately. I think this is a bad play call. I don't think this is a good. I don't know, man. It's hard, man. You want him to make this throw right now and look at this freaking pocket. If he just he does no space. And then on third down, they get, he gets sacked again. Let's see what happened on this one. What is this route concept? Why are there two Jets defenders in the same exact corner? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, what is this routes? Trips to the left? They're running the same route. Why are they so close to each other? What do you, where the ball, where is the ball supposed to go? It's his third down. The ball needs to get right here to the 14. Where is the ball supposed to go? He's already hit. Where is the, I don't know what this route where it was, man. I don't know what that route tree was. Who got beat on this play? One, two, three. Bro, it's third and long, and the offensive line can't give the quarterback more than three seconds to stay in the pocket. Billy Turner, bum. This is why I was very adamant in my podcast yesterday that this is an offensive failure on everything. If Zach, if the... Billy Turner can just stay stern and give him a pocket. Who knows? But he's, and you see where Zach's looking? I just want to show you guys where Zach is looking. Let, let, let's, I'm just going to show you where Zach is looking here. Okay? Zach's looking left. All right, he's looking left. Where the absolute f, f is he supposed to go with this ball? Looking left, looking left. Go underneath the Lazard? No, we need a first down. We need to get the, the ball to these two players. What is this? They're running the same route. Is this a uh, miscommunication? Or is this the play design? What the fuck? And by now, he's sacked. So, all full play design. But luckily, we have Greg Zerline. But again, that was the best drive that we saw from the offense. We saw great throws from Zach. We saw good runnings. Uh, I think I don't even think we had a good run on that play. On that, we had a good throw from Zach. Another good throw to Conklin. Set up first and ten inside the fifteen yard line, and then back to back sacks killed the drive. So it's just so infuriating 
that we have all this momentum offensively just for it to get ripped away with sacks. Salas speaking to the media. John said that he has a concerning injury. Great. I mean, as bad as Billy Turner is, we have no... The last thing we need is that. Henny, I'm not trying to give anybody ammo. I'm really trying to be my best here to be objective and look at it from just what I'm reacting to the film. I'm trying not to have an agenda. I'm trying not to defend anybody. I'm just watching the film. I'm not trying to look at the stats. I'm not trying to look at this agenda or look at this perspective or this perspective. My goal here in this film breakdown is kind of break it down for you guys and you can all voice you. You can formulate your own opinion based on what we're seeing together on the film. That's kind of my goal here. I'm not going to have the you know narrow focus of like, you know what, I'm just going to trash Zach this whole time or I'm going to praise Zach this whole time. I'm just going to, based off what I see on film, that's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, how much more do we have to defend, not defend, but praise the defense? Sauce Gardner, look at this break. Seven yards separation, breaks on that immediately. Bah! Falls out. And look at that, folks. The Jets defense gets another stop. Yeah. Great job. All right, offense. You had a great drive last time. Let's see what you do this time. Oh, look at this. A great run for Brees Hall. We're moving the ball. You would have thought. Penalty. Alan Lazard. Holding. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Lazard. This is what I'm talking about, bro. And Zach makes a great throw over the middle to Garrett on second and long to give it third and manageable. There we go. Finally, throwing the ball with pressure in your face, and that's not an easy throw to make. I mean, Max Mitchell just gets torched. He gets hit as he throws, delivers. I mean, that's a tight window throw. That's a good sign that Zach, I mean, that's a big boy throw right there. All right. Third down and short. Now, this is a this is a, this is a play that I want to break down. Now, I'm gonna blame Zach Wilson on this one. If I we need Zach to not be pretty. Get rid of that ball right here, right now. I know there's a defender in your face, but make a jump throw. Do something. Because if you just quickly get this ball out, I know there's a defender in his face. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. What do you mean, Richie? How is Zach supposed to do this? Khalil Max in his face. But look, right now, throw the ball. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Instead, he's dancing already. He sees the defender. Zach wants to make a move. He wants to do what Aaron Rodgers does best, juke him out, and then make the throw. And then when he makes the throw, it's inaccurate. So if I'm the coaching staff of the Jets, I'm, ask, I'm asking Zach, don't be pretty, don't be flashy. Right there, throw the ball. Right there, throw the ball. Throw the ball to Uzama, first down. Throw the ball to Uzama, that's a first down. So that one's on Zach. In my opinion, I know there's a, there's pressure in his face. There's a good job of eluding the pressure, and maybe if he made this throw on the run, we wouldn't have been upset. But he didn't. So, and now on third down, the Jets get a pass interference call in their favor. 
So first down at the 50-yard line for the Jets. Hand off to Brees. Brees goes nowhere. Two yards. All right, second down. Zach, rifle to Gibson. Oh, no, Malik Taylor. Okay, Malik Taylor. There we go. Third down and manageable. Third down and short. What you got? He gets short, but the Jets do what I'm so happy that they did. They go for it on fourth down, and they did a wildcat. I'll take this. A direct snap to Brees Hall on fourth and inches. I was a little nervous, but hey, he did it. Shout out Brees Hall for making this happen. Fourth and inches. You give the ball to your best player on fourth and inches, and he's going to go get that, that first down. All right, baby, let's go. 17-6. to six. The Jets have a chance to cut this to a one-possession lead with a touchdown. First down for the Jets. Yeah, let's just hand it off to Dalvin Cook. Great, smart, smart decision to hand it off to Dalvin there. Being sarcastic. Second down and long. Another handoff to Brees Hall, and that's going to set up third down. Now it's third down and short, or third down and manageable, like third and four, third and five range. Zach's under center on third down. And it's another, it's a handoff to Brees, and there's a penalty on the Jets. It was third and three. False start on Ruckert. And I think I think Brees would have picked up this first down. But instead of third and three, it's third and long. And Zach goes down with a sack. See what I mean? Penalties. Penalties. Sloppiness. Let's see what happened on the sack, though. Pause it here. No one's open. Malik Taylor is on the opposite side. Zach's looking right. Conklin, two defenders. Garrett, two defenders. Where is the ball supposed to go? He gets sacked. This is a play where Lincoln Tomlinson got murdered. Lincoln Tomlinson gets beat. Offensive line. Bro, that that's just crazy. Did you see that pass rush? Nobody's open down the field. And he gets killed. One, two, less than two seconds. The quarterback's getting hit. The offensive line's got to do better than that, bro. The offensive line's got to do better than that. No one's open down the field. Again, I'll show you. He's already getting hit, and look at the routes. There's no one open, so I don't know. That's on Lincoln Tomlinson, if anything. And maybe the route. My issue is... This is supposed to be a quick pass scheme. I mean, where are the quick, where are the openings? Like, Zach should be able to drop back, ball out right there. But where the fuck is the ball supposed to go? <laughs> That's my issue. The, the scheme is like, ball out in under two seconds. But where is the ball supposed to go if there's no one looking back at the quarterback and there's no opening? The Jets can't get open in man coverage because they double-team Garrett Wilson and there's nobody else offensively that can win their one-on-ones, it seems. So the Jets got to punt it again and rely on our defense. And the defense continues to be dogs. First down, incomplete. Second down, end around, and the boys are all there. On third down, Herbert steps up. He's going to run for the first down. Ah, frustrating. Herbert makes a play. Big deal. The defense still makes a play. And this was the fumble that really could have changed the game right here. This could have changed the game if Clemens. Look at Will McDonald making his first big play as a rookie. Spin move, comes inside, knocks that ball out. Ball out! Ball out! Look at frickin' Clemens. What are you doing? Jump on the ball. He doesn't try to jump on it. He tries to be the hero, to scoop it and score it. And look at Sauce. He's at disbelief. You got to jump on that, bro. The Jets would have had a chance. This could have been the flipping of the game that we needed, man. Will McDonald, look at the rookie. Spin move. Finds the ball. Knocks the ball out. Ball out. Jump on that ball. It's right there, Clemens. If you jump on that and put your back towards Herbert, that ball's yours. That is Jets football. But instead, he tries to get cute. 
and it allows Herbert an extra chance to get that ball right back. Ridiculous. So ridiculous. And then on second down, Will McDonald with another spin move gets quarterback hit. Great job from Will McDonald there. And now we're in the fourth quarter. Herbert gets another first down. I, my question is, why was D, why was uh, Brennan Eccles in on this play? Where's Sauce? I guess Sauce needed a breather or something. Because my man Sauce is not giving this up. I was a little concerned when I saw this. I was like, why is Eccles in coverage? I was like, what happened to Sauce? Is he hurt? But Sauce is fine. I don't know. Maybe he needed a breather. Oh, this is another play that John Franklin Myers made where you're just scratching your head like, oh, can we just pick this off somehow? Look at JFM, his third pass breakup of the game. Knocks the ball up. Oh, my God. Somebody just catch the ball and pick it. Take it six. Come on, CJ. Quincy. Saw, look at Sauce. He's like, ah. And it's so sad that I, I sound crazy. I, I sound like a, an idiot. Like, oh, we got to rely on our defense to do everything. Yeah, we do. The ball's up. Find it. Catch it. <laughs> so Sauce was on the field. Did I miss Sauce on the field? Where was he at? My apologies. Let me go back. Where's... Oh, there he is. So Sauce... I'm curious now that you bring it up. Wow. So I like this. Everyone's like, oh, Sauce needs to travel. Thank you in the chat for pointing out that Sauce is on the field because I did not see him. He's one-on-one -on -one in the slot with Keenan Allen, their best player. Everyone gets upset that Sauce doesn't travel. Well, he traveled here. They manned up Sauce one-on-one. -on -one. They bring in an extra defensive back. And Sauce clamps up Keenan Allen. But it frees up Eccles on the outside. So thank you, someone in the chat, for telling me Sauce was on the field. I did not, I did not notice that. Thank you. So John Franklin Myers makes a play. Toss to Eckler. He's short of the sticks. Quick pass. This is where the Chargers offense started to pick up first downs on third downs. I think this is where they get their stop. Oh, this is where Keenan Allen makes that ridiculous catch, bro. Oh, my gosh. On third down, bro, look at this catch. Give me a break. Look at the, look at, like, what? That's a bad throw. That's just greatness. That is greatness from Keenan Allen. Oh, my gosh. This could have been a big change. Dude, that's unreal. But instead, the Jets defense, they stand stout, and I'm pretty sure they give up three points. So they give up three points, and now the score is 20-6. to six. And now the offense has to be super aggressive. Fourth quarter, down 14 points. Still striking distance. If the Jets can score a touchdown, make it a seven-point game, you never know. Zach has a chance to squeeze it into Garrett Wilson. Not able to do so. If this ball was on time and more accurate, you never know. You saw Garrett Wilson take a similar uh, route to the end zone against the Cowboys. If this was on time, Garrett could have been gone. I mean, maybe not gone, but let's just watch it from this one. He's got Gibson as well. But I like this throw to Garrett, but he's got to hit it. If he hits him in stride, bro, see all that grass? Or the turf, should I say? If he hits, if Zach hits this throw on time with accuracy, watch it one more time. The ball's out. Ball's out on time. And it's if it's accurate, hits him on the numbers, he catches this ball, and he escapes this defender. Dude, this could have been a huge play. But Zach missed it. You saw him look left, go back right. Missed the throw. Now second down, gives it to Garrett. 
And Garrett's like, all right, you missed me on that throw. I got you on the next one. First down, Jets. All right. First down. Screen pass to Brees. Here we go. And flag. See? See what I mean? This one's on Garrett Wilson. Block in the back. Positive momentum. Positive momentum. Screen pass to Garrett. Uh, to Brees. And Garrett does a boneheaded block in the back. Instead of having the ball in Chargers territory, inside the 45-yard line, first and 10, it is going to be back at the 30. Like, this is a 25-yard swing of a penalty on Garrett Wilson. So, another reason why the penalties are a big issue. Now, second and forever. Ball's batted down. Pressure gets home. Billy Turner gets killed. What else is new? Now check it down to Conklin on second down. All right, third down, and Zach's just going to take a sack. That is disgusting. This is disgusting, man. Third and long, four-man rush, quarterback spy, man coverage. Look at this separation. There's no one open, bro. Zach's dancing. He's like, where do I go? And it's third down, so he wants to make a play. He doesn't want to throw it out of bounds. Tries to extend it, and the Chargers all over him. So, I don't know. Who's this on? Who's this play on? Look at Billy Turner getting molly whopped. They, they free up a free defend. There's three Chargers in Zach's face, and there's literally nobody open down the field. So, who are we blaming this on? Someone let me know, where is this ball supposed to go? Because this is one of those plays where absolutely nobody is open down the field. And Zach gets sacked. I don't know. That, that, that's a coverage sack. No, pocket collapses. Pressure's in his face. And on this angle, it looks bad from Zach. But you again, you go back and look at here. Let's pause it right now. Okay. Make the throw, Zach. Yeah, where? Where? One, two, three, four. No one's open. No one. So, that's just incompetent offense. Just, just throw it away, Jason says. So, it's third down. Throwing it away isn't going to do anything. He wants to extend this. He wants to backpedal and give... The wide receiver is extra time to get open, and he's trying to buy them some time. Yeah, could he have thrown away right here? Yeah, he could have. You got me. Just throw it away. It's third down. He wants to extend it, and the quarterback's job is to make time for the wide receivers to get open, and he wasn't able to do that, and he got sacked. And now the Jets defense gets another stop. I don't even think we need to look at this. We know what this defense is capable of. We know what the defense is doing. And look at that, the defense. <laughs> Re and out. What else is new? And now this is where the Jets have their last chance, and I think this is where Zach fumbles. Lazard actually catches a pass. First down. The Jets have to press here. All right, Garrett Wilson. That's back-to-back -back first downs. But then the next play is the nightmare play. Ball's out. Fumble. They pick it up. I don't know what happened here. You got to protect the ball better, bro. going on this film guy let's see what happened can we get to this so this is the fumble that kind of ended the game Billy Turner gets killed by Khalil Mack Zach's cocking this ball he's throwing it and it gets it gets hit as he throws I'm curious who he was throwing it to though 
Who is this ball going to? Who is this ball going to? So he's throwing it right now to Garrett Wilson, who's wide open. So this ball is being thrown to Garrett Wilson, who's wide open, but the pocket collapses, and Billy Turner allows the defender to get the ball, get his hand on the ball. Which is a fumble. So he had Garrett Wilson open, and Billy Turner did not give Zach enough protection. Right? Maybe if you want to criticize Zach here, maybe if he feels the pressure, he steps up into the pocket to avoid Khalil Mack. But I mean, that's asking for a lot, bro. All he's doing is throwing the ball to an open receiver. And Khalil Mack gets gets his hand on the ball. Because Billy Turner stinks. And there's even a penalty on the Jets, too. So even if the throw to Garrett Wilson happened, it wouldn't have it would have been called back. I mean, what are we doing, Turner? If he gives Zach an extra second, this ball is delivered to Garrett for a big gain. But instead, it's not. And then the Chargers get it and extend their lead to 27 because they have the ball at the one-yard line. And then the final play I want to show you guys because we're not going to go into the freaking garbage time disgustingness from Zach. But I definitely wanted to show you this play because I can't believe that they can't even score a touchdown in garbage time. Not that. I couldn't believe CJ Uzama dropped this. Now, this is garbage time. It makes no sense. It doesn't really matter. But, like, dude, we finally going to get a touchdown pass, and you're going to drop this ball? Again, bro, garbage time doesn't really matter, doesn't have an impact on the game. But at least show some signs that you can catch a ball in the end zone. <laughs> you can't ask for a better... Opening for a touchdown, dude. Hit him right where he needed to. And that is the film breakdown, folks. So, my overall thoughts of the film. Wow. That that, that had a lot of context for me, folks. That, that really... This just confirmed what I already knew. In my opinion, and this is my opinion, based off what I'm watching on film... I'm trying my best to take away my fandom here. I'm trying my best to take away everything. I'm not trying to talk to the people that are... Because, in my opinion, Jets fans are a little... It's just one-sided. It's either you're a Zach hater or you're a Zach truther. There's no middle ground. And that's my job to kind of be that middle ground. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to speak to both parties. <laughs> I feel like it's politics. Like, I... Come, came away with this film breakdown from the offense with the notion of this is a collective offensive failure. This is everything. The quarterback is a problem, but he's not the problem. Okay? He's not the problem. Is he a problem? Yes. But is he the problem? What do I mean by the problem? Meaning that Zach Wilson's the reason why we scored six points only. He's not the reason why we only scored six points. Okay? There isn't. Offensive line had one of the worst performances of the season. Penalties after penalties. Schematics. Nobody opened down the field. Zach missing on a couple throws. Yeah. He missed that throw to CJ Uzama on the right flat. He should have gave the ball to Brees Hall on that screen pass instead of dirting it. He missed Garrett Wilson over the middle. He should have hit C.J. Uzama when there's a pressure in his face. There's four or five plays Zach would like back. But there's also moments of this offense showing size and progressions. There's also some throws in this where you see progressions from Zach. Scanning through, third down, finding Xavier Gibson for the first down, making a play happen, play action, play's not there, let's extend a play, roll to my left, fire a 40-yard missile down the field to an open Garrett Wilson for an explosive play. But when you find when you have momentum on as an offense and it gets killed with a penalty, 
and he gets killed with a sack, it's hard. So you guys can call me whatever you want. I do not think this is a sole quarterback issue based off the film, and I wanted to go in here with an open mind. If you think that Trevor Simeon is going to come in here and operate this offense any better based off the film, I, I can't. I don't know what Trevor Simeon's doing that Zach's not doing. But would he make some of the easier throws? Yeah, I mean, Zach missed some layups. But again, Brees Hall, one of his worst games of the season, in my opinion. He had a fumble. And that was really it. He dropped his toss. That was the only thing that happened with Brees Hall that was bad. Garrett Wilson, definitely his worst game of the season. He had a critical fumble. He had a critical penalty. Two big plays that hurt this offense. Alan Lazard, awful game. Three penalties, three drops. Terrible. CJ Uzama dropping a wide open touchdown. The offensive line, not only protecting the quarterback, but run blocking was atrocious. And then the, the route concepts, nobody's getting open to man coverage. Zach is dropping back to pass, and he has less than three seconds to throw the ball when there's nobody open down the field. What the hell is Trevor Simeon doing? What's Josh Dobbs doing in that situation? Oh, he's running around. He's making plays. Okay, yeah. So that's really my thoughts, guys. Uh, you guys can kind of let me know how you feel about the film breakdown. Again, I try to be objective. I really tried to uh, present the film with no agenda. I'm not trying to defend anybody. I'm just giving, giving it to you real. And I personally come away with this again that there is an offensive issue here that starts with the offensive coach and the off and the quarterback and the off it's everything it's a collective failure and then I'll finish off with some positivity because the defense on film looks darn good <laughs> no one wants to hear that but the defense looked darn good darn good and the special teams got to be better they played great outside of that terrible touchdown they gave up so special teams got to be better. And um, the defense is doing their job. They held Justin Herbert to 130-something yards, five sacks, 53 completion percentage, elite-level stuff from the defense. But the offense lost the Jets the game, and they had a lot of miss, missed opportunities, sloppiness, drop passes, penalties, fumbles. Billy Turner should never play football for the Jets again. He was terrible. So, whatever you guys take away from this, let me know in the chat, guys. Again, I try to be objective. I try to keep it real based off of the film. I don't have any agendas. I don't have any personal preferences on where I want to lean towards. I'm just watching the film and giving it to you real here. I'm giving it to you real. So, I hope you enjoyed that realness from me. And uh, feel free to let, it, let all of us know in the comment section after the film breakdowns, after I end the stream... Comment your thoughts of what you took away from the film, what really stood out to you the most, who's there to blame, all those things. So, guys, comment after the live stream's over because all the comments in the chat, it doesn't save. But the comments after the stream is over down below, it will save, and I want to read them um, and see your guys' thoughts. But also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys. really helps out the channel more than you guys know. Uh, let's get this to around 150 likes. That will be great, folks. We get 127 people watching with 102 likes. Um, I really enjoy doing these all 22 film breakdowns, folks. So if you guys want to hit, simply hit that like button for me, that would mean a lot. That would mean a lot. That would mean a lot. So run up the like button, guys. Um, if anybody cares about what I'm about to do next, I'm going to be live on Bleacher Report with TD Finn's talk, Joseph Dion, and Botch Lombardi to share our thoughts of our picks from uh, for Week 10 across the NFL. That's going to be live on Bleacher Report at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a really good show. We go live every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. It's It's been really fun so far. We've been doing it every single week since the season began, and I'm really fortunate to be able to be on Bleacher Report. A lot of fun over there. So, uh, Richie Uta, man, thanks for being real and sharing, brother, over and out. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Love you, Omar. Appreciate you, bro. Ryan Jett, thank you, man. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. Um, and, yeah. Appreciate all you guys tuning in, man. Uh, really trying not to push any agendas other than just keeping it real on my channel. So let me know again, guys. Comment your thoughts when the stream wraps up. I'll see you guys next time. And by the way, if you guys don't know this, I will be in Vegas this weekend. Flying out Friday morning. See you in Vegas. Peace.